Now that we're getting close to Christmas, you see these LED light strings in many stores. I got picked this up at uh, Old Time Pottery. You could find these in Michaels and any other craft store. Now, they use either two or three AA batteries in here, which brings it to three to four and a half volts. I'm going to show you how to separate these and use them on your model railroad. Now, I paid $4.95. $4.99 for now, just this past week. But if you go after Christmas, you can get them like half price or 60% off. I did that last year on a few of them that I picked up at CVS and I'll show you those also. So let's get started with this right now. Hi, I'm Tom Kovichak and this is Tom's Trains and Things. We're going to learn something today about LED lights. I got four of them right here that I already made up and I'm going to show you how I did this. I got uh, a resistor in here and I put some shrink wrap tubing over top of it and we're good to go to add these to our building. So let's get started with this and I'll show you how I do it. As we open this box, you'll see that there's not much to it. You get a, a string of lights or a string of LEDs and you get this little uh, container or receptacle here where you could put your batteries in there. It takes three AA batteries and a set of instructions, which really doesn't tell you anything. So what we're going to do, we're going to do some experimenting with this and see what we could do with these lights. And you, uh, let me get down to this end of it here. And you can see is doubled back so it doesn't short on the other wire. One wire comes this way and one wire comes that way. And it's covered with insulation so it doesn't get shorted on anything else there. But I'm going to pull this off here. There's the wires right there. And they're pretty thin wires. I'm going to get some batteries and I'm going to show you how bright these are to begin with. I have three new AA batteries and I'll insert them in here. And let me turn the lights off and you can see how bright they are or how dim they are. And these are warm white. Uh, I, I did that because I didn't want them to be too bright because I'm going to put these on in buildings. Just got a switch on it. So I'm going to cut off the last 10. Put this aside over here and I'll make sure that these aren't shortened out anywhere. And then I'll turn this back on. Let me cut the lights. Now they possibly have a little resistor in here. So what I'm going to do, we're going to hook this up to my power supply with the 3.3 volts and see how that looks there. I have some alligator clips and I hooked up to my power supply. Okay, and the black one right here is the negative. So you look on here, this is the negative side. And your power goes through there, through the batteries. And over here is the positive side and you can see they have a wire going through here up to the positive terminal right here. All right, now I got to turn the power supply on. Okay, and now I'll turn the power on on here. And you can see now this is 3.4 volts. Let me turn the lights out. And you can see what they look like here. Now, we could knock these down and divide these and say you want to put three in the building. We could do that. And I'm going to show you how to do that. So we have 20 lights on this string all together and I put 10. I cut it off at 10. So we could do three, three, and four on one string or any combination that we want to. Let's get started with that. Let's put the lights back on so we can see what we're doing here. And let me turn the power supply off. What I want to do here, 
Let's hook this up to the red right here and see what it looks like. And it may look just a little bit brighter. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to switch it back and forth to see if we could tell the difference between the voltage here. So that's the 5 and that's the... Th okay, that's the 3. And that's the 5. We'll go back. 3 and 5. This is just like the eye doctor. Is this one better or is that one better? We have our choice of the voltages we want to use. Um, I don't think it really matters because the way that we're going to hook it up if we need to, we could use a resistor to limit the current on the LED. So what I'm going to do right here, I'm going to cut off three of these LEDs. In fact, I'm going to use this on the one that doesn't have the resistor on it. So we'll take this one, one, two, and three, and cut right in the middle of there. So we got three, three of them right there. Now, the type of wire that they use on there has just a coating on top of it that we could scrape off. Because this is too small for my wire strippers. I, I mean, my wire strippers only go up to 26 gauge. So we'll just strip that back like that. Now I have the string of three right here. I put a 100 ohm resistor on the breadboard right here. And I have this hooked up to the 3.3 volts. So let me turn this on and this on. You could see the difference on there. I have three of them together on 3.3 volts with the 100 ohm resistor in series with it. And they look pretty good for lighting up a building. And we're going to try this out and we're going to incorporate a resistor in there. I played around with different configurations here, even did it without a resistor and burned out the center LED on here. But now I have it hooked up to five volts and I have a 68 ohm resistor in there. So there's that. And here's the original. We'll shut the lights off and you take a look at it. So 68 looks pretty good for lighting up the buildings. Uh, we might be able to go a little bit brighter. Maybe I could drop it down, but we could play around with that. But 68 looks pretty good and I have five of them. So we're good to go with uh, playing around with uh, using the 68 ohm resistor and the maybe three to four LEDs on a string. What I did here was twisted the wires together from the resistor and the lead from the LED. And I'm going to solder them on there. Just make sure that my iron is hot enough. And, uh, and I already applied the flux to the wires. Make sure it's hot. We're going to let the solder melt right into it. I'll bring that up here. And what I'll do is I'll put some, some shrink wrap on there. That's good and tight right there. I'll clean that up a little bit. I'll put some shrink, heat shrink on that all the way back to here, cover up the resistor, and then I will have our two leads there for our power on it. Before I put the shrink tubing on there, we'll just 
make sure that this works and just okay so it works I have an assortment of heat shrink tubing and I found one that works perfectly and I'll put it right there and heat it up it'll cover the resistor and cover up the solder joint on there and we'll be good to go with it I have four LEDs on this strip and a 68 ohm resistor so we'll just uh, shrink this tubing up right here over top of the resistor and the splice that I did okay here we are we now have a strip of four LEDs and a resistor a 68 ohm resistor on here that we could use to mount anywhere on our layout in a building for lighting outside a building on a billboard or anything these are really small LEDs on here there's one right there so that's how small they are so and you could bend these wires back this way and have them anywhere in your building or anywhere else on your layout to have some lighting on there so there we go with that and I'll show you how to mount this into a building in another video and make a little connector for on the end. So all you have to do is put your wires at the back of the building and you're good to go. Well, I hope that was informative. I learned something there and I hope you learned something on that too. Now, you could pick these up anywhere, especially after Christmas and you get maybe 20 lights in there. But uh, you could also get the strips. I have one of them coming. They should be here today. I'm filming this on Monday. And so I have the, the, uh, the strip of 100 LEDs coming. So I'm going to be experimenting with that too. And if I get them early enough, I'll put them in this video also. But if I don't, they'll be in another video. Last year after Christmas, I picked up about four boxes of these at CVS for about two dollars a piece they're a string of 50 lights for a christmas tree now these can be used on your layout for lighting up over a valance or something like that i've seen these uh, used many times and two two boxes of these will run 25 feet i picked up four of them and i also picked up another one of these this is a 30 string of lights of leds and this was at Michael's, and I also picked this up after Christmas. You can get some pretty good deals after Christmas on LED lighting in any craft store. Home Depot has it. Old Time Pottery is where I got the, these. Michael's, Joann's, Hobby Lobby. It'll usually go as far down as 75% off, so you can get a pretty good deal on them. Coming up on Saturday, we have a, another episode, episode number 18 of Model Railroading for Beginners. And it's going to be on mistakes that modelers make, especially the new ones. Look for it on Saturday at 10 a.m. If you want to get any supplies or parts that I used in this video, go ahead on over to my Amazon page, amazon.com slash shop slash Tom's Trains and Things. And you could find a lot of different things in there, including books on track planning and DCC, some D Digitrack components, NCE, even editing software, and a bunch of stuff that we use here on this workbench right here, so we'll see you.